morning, guys. I'm glad you're all here. I hope you'll have a wonderful Friday and enjoy your upcoming weekend. Hurricane Agatha making its way across the Gulf Coast, heading for South Florida, which is now classified as a tropical storm. Here's the current wind conditions. Height, I assume, um, what, a thousand feet? I don't know. And then here we got it at 800 feet and 700 feet, 500 feet, 200 feet, and then closer to the surface. And then, yeah. So, yeah, that's what's currently going on with the winds there in Florida. Here we got total cloud water, 250 height. Okay, and 500, 700, 800. Yeah, you guys are going to get a drown, a drenching there. What's this one? This here is earthnullschool.net that I'm currently using. Now, according to NOAA, this was posted at 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Today is June 3rd, 2022. Uh, they're expecting heavy rain associated with the system. It's expected to cross western Cuba, where life-threatening flash flooding and mudslides are possible. Heavy rains will affect portions of central Florida, south Florida, and the Florida Keys today and continue through tomorrow, Saturday. Considerable flash and urban flooding is possible across South Florida and the Keys. Flash and urban flooding is also possible across the northwestern Bahamas. Uh, a lot of people like to go out and, you know, uh, looky-loos and drive through it. Don't drive through flooded water. Turn around. Don't drown. Here on NOAA, too, they have an image of potential rain. Orlando, Florida. Disney World. Oh, anywhere from two to four inches. Tampa, same thing. But down by Miami, anywhere from six to ten inches, they're saying. And there's an area along the coast, not quite sure where, but they could get ten to fifteen inches of rain. Yeah, turn around, don't drown. Last year when I was there um, in July... They had the outer bands that I got there at Orlando of Hurricane Elsa. It seemed like it rained every day when I was there. It was rather refreshing. Everything is so green and beautiful there. People are so friendly. Here we have an image of tropical force wind speeds probability for the 120 hours, five days from 1 a.m. Friday. Uh, until Wednesday, June 8th. Let me bring this down for you so you can see it. I'm not quite sure. It might be miles per hour, but it looks like across South Florida here. Um, uh, maybe 30 to 40 miles an hour. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're going to, it's going to get higher, maybe up to 60 miles an hour. And then the outer banks there. I guess they're calling this Tropical Cyclone 1. And the areas that they're expecting flooding. This is for the next three days. And they got another image over here for tomorrow, Saturday. Let me click on that. And it looks like I have to bring it down for you. Do, do, do. Now, they are saying today that the potential tropical cyclone 1 continues this morning to organize northeast of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Satellite imagery says uh, it looks like it's going to gather some strength going into this evening. The first outer bands of the cyclone will likely begin to impact the Florida Keys and southwest peninsula in the next few hours before overspreading much of the southern half of the state this afternoon. And then it's going to spread over the southern half of the state 
uh, becoming heavy tonight. General consensus is for the track that takes the center just northwest of Key West by Saturday. Evidently, you guys have already been getting a lot of rain, but they're saying here that you could get as much as three inches of rain per hour. Yeah, that would probably cause some flooding. And also, some areas could get as much as five inches per hour. Some places could conceivably see close to double that amount, which by itself will pose a flash flood risk. However, this heavy rain will be falling on top of soils that are already pre-saturated from seven-day rainfall. That is around 300% of normal for Ochabi southward. Sorry for pronouncing it wrong. Probably get a lot of school teachers that want to teach me how to say the name. Those of you that live there already know how to pronounce it correctly. And then using Google Earth, we'll go to this lake. Oh, it's a good size lake, isn't it? Wow. I'm impressed. And we'll bring it out. Yeah, there's an earthquake station there. And we'll bring it out. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of a lot of rain here. We got the Everglades. Now, of course, with the flash flooding, you're going to have a problem with the alligators there. Some poor man yesterday or the day before uh, was eaten by an alligator after he went to retrieve a frisbee that went into um, an area of water. Yeah, terrible. So you're going to have 300% more water for the ground to absorb, which of course is not going to absorb. It's going to cause significant flash flooding. And they are considering that uh, Tropical Storm 1 will probably strengthen because of the heat over the the Gulf Co or the, the Mexican coast there, Mexican Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> and then we got the arrival time of the winds uh, today, 2 p.m. tonight, Saturday morning. Uh, and then it just goes out across over the Atlantic. We've got quite a few very good, nice people that live there in Florida. When we were there, we had car problems, and someone from there offered to come and help. Boy, they were great. And we got regular fo followers that um, are always, always posting on here. Some wonderful people down there. Yeah, you guys be prepared. Don't take chances. And, of course, you always got the threat of uh, a tornado caused by these winds. So either it's hurricanes, tropical winds, at least you don't get that many earthquakes down in this area. Right now, here is the three-hour uh, rainfall. Just starting to hit uh, the eastern side of the coast, it looks like, of Florida. And the humidity. That was one thing I really didn't care about when I was down there in Florida. Oh my goodness, it's muggy. And an image of the current uh, wind power density. So that ain't too bad right now. And another image of the wind power density. Yeah, you can see here that Cuba is getting slammed. So it's going to intensify here in the Gulf. Uh, be prepared. Uh, yeah, it's heading right towards Miami. And you have the southern end. Be prepared. Don't be a looky loo and go out there. Uh, stay home. Take care of your property, your pets, and your loved ones. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.